And alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the self-developed YouTube channel. I feel like I've said that intro a thousand times. It's feeling a little old. I feel like I gotta change it up, guys. Let me know. What intro should I say? What should I do? You guys, uh, you guys hit me up. And as always, let me know where you're from in the world. Anyways, guys, in this video, a little bit different. The energy is a little bit different. Um, it feels very full circle-ish, but at the same time, it feels like something brand new and foreign. Um, I believe I titled this video, guys, for those feeling left behind in life or for those feeling, yeah, just like you're kind of like left behind. You know, it feels like you've put an X amount of work in whatever area of your life, physically, mentally, emotionally, career, business, spirituality, and it feels like you haven't necessarily reaped the result you're looking for, right? This video is for you guys. So as you guys know with life, life is cyclical. Life is continuously moving and ebbing. It's back and forth. It is never static. I think we can all agree. It is never static, meaning if you do something for a certain amount of time, it will produce a certain result. But that action and result, that chain, that give and take, if you will, will not be the exact same now, nor will it be the same a year from now. The world is continuously ebbing and flowing. It's changing. This year's winter will be different from next year's winter, right? They may be similar. The give and take may be similar, but it's always going to be different. So what do you do? For those feeling lost in life, David, how does this answer this question? I've been putting in all this work in my relationships, in my fitness, in my business, et cetera, et cetera. There are two options I'm gonna give you guys. Number one, this is just waited out a little bit longer, okay? The majority of you guys are fucking crushing whatever you were doing, and you really don't need to change too much. It's more so just a matter of patience. And I know this isn't what you wanna hear, but think about it. Think of it like a cup, right? Like a tea. A tea mug, right? Self-developed mug. A lot of times before, or any time, before the water can spilleth over, you first need to fill the cup. A lot of you guys are essentially right now just filling up your cup and you're very close, but just because you can't see the water spilling over doesn't mean you're not filling up your cup. You are, right? In any area of your life, this can take time. It doesn't matter. Similar to a child being born in the womb or created. It doesn't matter how bad you want it to come out today. It takes nine months. It's going to take time. The cup is filling. So that's option and scenario number one. This was myself for uh, many, many years. Option number two, this is time to change mugs, to adapt, to change, right? Just like the seasons of nature. So what do you do, All right, David? I understand, right? Number one, just wait it out. But what if I'm in number two? What if there's a change happening and I can feel it? And very funny enough, this was actually exactly what happened when I initially blew up. Um, there's a bit of story time for you guys, and this will all tie into this video. I used to be a photographer and videographer, and that's the content I was making here on YouTube, which makes your recording. And I made that for years, and seemingly, you know, it was going okay. I was waiting it out. But eventually there came a certain point where I needed to trade the cup, upgrade the cup, if you will, go from a smaller mug to a bigger one. I've already overflowed it, right? Let's get a better one. And that is where self-developed was born. I eventually let go of the visuals of that content. And very shortly after, once I let go of that cup, gave life my cup, that season of winter, a new cup came. And that was no fap. That was the inspiration of, you know what? Why don't you make this one year no fap video? Because I've been at it at around a year now. I made the video, the channel blew up. Self-developed was born, created like that. <laughs> So maybe that's what's happening right now. But in order for that to happen, in order for you to upgrade your cup, change your cup in whatever area of life, you need to first let go. Because if you don't, there's no way you can upgrade your cup. If I held on to the visual content, there is no way, mark my words, there is no way the NoFab video, the self-developed videos would have came, guaranteed. I even made a video called Finally Giving Up, Finally Letting Go, the next video was the nofap video. So for those feeling behind in life, lost in life, David, how, how does that make sense with anything? Number one, keep the cup you have. You are upgrading, you're moving forward. And a lot of times this is your tangible skill. It's your mindset. It's your actual belief, your core. You see with visuals, it wasn't so much that I got a billion views and subscribers, clearly not, but my skill. You understand? Who I was grew. At a certain point, just like cocoons are like, kind of like lizards losing their tail or like deers losing their antlers. At a certain point, it will be time to let go to upgrade, right? And maybe that's where you're at. You've done the work. I did the work with the visuals. My cup rose. Now it is time to let it go and swap anew. To do that, 
let go of the current cup you have. So what does that mean for me? I have no fucking clue. If that means taking a break from YouTube, if that means switching up the content, maybe that means continuing to move forwards and just hope that the cup will come. Guys, I don't know. I'm in this with you, but I know I can feel... I can feel an ending of one chapter and a beginning of a new. I don't know what it's going to look like. I have no clue. Um, I don't know. And I'm feeling side effects of it. My old cup is starting to feel burdensome on me. It's starting to weigh a lot more. I can feel that. Right? So I'm in it with you guys. But maybe this video can be of resource to you in one way or another because it has been true and proven true to be in my life many times. So, I finished this video there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. hope it made sense. If you guys did like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And comment down below, what examples do you have of this? Maybe in your job, you've experienced this. Maybe in your physical health, your relationships, your mental health. I would love to learn more, guys, with your stories. I find it very interesting. And I'll finish it here, guys, with the final plugs. If you guys are interested, there is always one-on-one -on -one coaching. There is group coaching, which is the workshop, coming up very soon in just over a week, guys, which is four one-hour live stream group coaching calls with a private Facebook group. We're running the one of January right now, but you guys can join next month. And, guys, there's the self-development course, which is a passive online learning system already pre-recorded, nearly four hours long, completely changing your lives by improving your health, your relationships, finding your passion and turning it into a business or becoming self-developed. Thank you guys. That is it. Let's look over cups, upgrade it, or keep on fucking filling it because life is cyclical. It's fair. It will come back full circle, guaranteed, 100%, no question about it. The only thing is, can you stay patient enough to fill up that cup or B, can you let go to upgrade the new one? If you can do that, you will crush it, guaranteed. Thank you guys. Till then, much love. Peace.